Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And this is the Savage Bottle 11 VT. And it is advertised to have a free floating barrel. However, when I got this rifle, it was not free floating because there was a lot of tension right there. And all along here, there was tension. And that was caused by the fact that the barrel is not square in the stock barrel channel. The barrel channel is biased to the right. So it had a bigger opening on the right hand side and no opening on the left hand side. Well it was easy to figure out where the pressure spots were because there was a bad one right there and then when you coat the barrel with oil and put it back in you can see the oil on the inside of the stock is all along here and so I took it apart and used files and carefully filed out the interferences the tension areas on the stock right here so that now we have a free floating barrel. Now before bad pressure right here and I relieved that before going to the range to shoot my fire form brass but there was still some friction there was still some tight areas right about here going back and so I went ahead and relieved all of that so now we have a free floating barrel and we're ready to go ahead and do our precision reloading so important to get that done just because Savage says that the barrels are free floating doesn't mean in fact that they are so we should check with the old dollar bill test but I prefer to use a piece of paper instead now some free floated barrels in the past had a couple of inches of support right here in front of the receiver and that's okay but you sure don't want anything out here to be interfering if you got a free floated barrel and these two files one a flat one and one a round one was all that was needed to do the job so show you the strokes that were done like this so that the file at no time could get on to the aesthetic part of the stock but just worked on the inside of the stock like this and then the round file also by going in and supporting both ends of the file so that we could take away any interferences and then any of them that were on the inside like this we were able to get by going like this and again a slight angle on that file prevents marring the outside of the stock so by carefully using the files to take away the interferences right along this part of the stock and the round file also helped to do to do the job there we were able to get that uh, done very nicely so take care we'll see you next video bye for now